Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add scoring for collectible objects like gems or coins or crystals in a 2D platformer game in Unity. So in this video, we'll look at how to set up scoring so we can collect points um, when the player collects different objects. Uh, and in the next video, we'll look at how to set up a UI so that we can display the score on the screen. So what I have in this platformer game is uh, some crystals. So I've got one here, one here, and another one here. And I want the player to be able to collect a point uh, each time one of these, uh, each time the player passes through or uh, collides with one of these crystals. So what I need to make sure is that each one has a collider of some sort and that the collider has is trigger ticked. So if you haven't already done that yet, click on add component, you can search for a collider and then choose one of the 2D colliders that's uh, appropriate for the shape uh, that you have of that object. So each of these crystals already has a polygon collider 2D component attached to it and each one has is trigger checked. What I'll also need to do is tag these crystals so that I can distinguish them from other objects uh, that I might that the player might collide with. Okay, so I want to make sure that they're distinguished from other objects that might say, for example, take off health um, or to distinguish from when I fall off the map and hit the um, fall detector. So what I'll need to do is add a new tag. And so I'm going to create a new tag. I'm going to call it crystal. Save that tag in my list of tags. And then I'm going to select each crystal in the scene and apply that tag to it. And I actually have uh, another scene or another level in this game. So I'm going to save that one. And I'm going to go into the level two scene and make sure that I do the same thing for any other crystals that I could collect in this scene. So I'm going to tag that one and check that it has is trigger checked for its collider. And this one as well. Make sure that's tagged. And I'll save that scene and just go back to that first level there. All right, the next thing I'm gonna to need to do is write some code to um, set up the collision detection, detect when the player has passed through a crystal, add a point to the score, and then make sure that the crystal disappears. So I'm going to open the player controller script, which is attached to the player object. And uh, from the previous videos, uh, we set up some collision detection to detect when the player fell off the map or off a platform and needed to respawn. Uh, and when the player passed through a checkpoint or when the player uh, passed through a portal to go through to the next or previous level. So what we can do here is use this on trigger enter 2D method again to detect when we've collided with any object that is tagged crystal and then basically just increase the score. So I'm gonna create a variable for the score. Up the top here inside the player controller class, I'll create a private variable it's an integer or int we'll call it score and we'll set it to zero now this is going to work well if your game just has one level or one scene but later on i'll show you what you might need to change if uh, you have multiple levels or scenes in the game and you want to maintain that score and and keep the score across all those different scenes so create a variable for the score and then you can go down to the on trigger enter 2d method here and add an if statement, or if you already have some if statements, add an else if statement. So inside the method um, called on trigger enter 2D, uh, we have if, if we detect a collision with another object uh, and it's collider, then we'll refer to that other object as collision. So make sure you have this method in your code, and then you can add another if statement here. Else if collision dot tag is equal to crystal. Okay, so we're just detecting, let's make sure I spell that correctly. Just detecting here, or checking if the, the other object that we collided with, if it has the tag crystal. If so, we can increase the score by one. So we could write score equals score plus one, or we could just shorten that to score plus equals one. Okay, so that'll increase the score by one. You can specify how many points you want for each object. You could even um, have uh, different types of 
crystals that have or different types of gems or coins that have different points values uh, and you know specify how much the score increases for those objects and if they're objects that are subtracting like taking off health you could do a very similar thing here you just subtract so score increased by one i'm not going to add the ui yet to display the score um, later on in the next video we'll look at how to display the score on screen and, uh, and display some text on the screen but right now i'm just going to log it to the console just log that value and then what i'll need to do is make sure that the crystal that i've just collected is uh, removed from the scene. Uh, otherwise, if it still stays there, I'll still be able to collide with it and be able to keep just gaining more points. So to, to remove it from the scene, I'll say collision dot game object dot set active false. So basically whatever, whatever object I've just collided with, in this case, the crystal, that object, the game object is going to be um, disabled. So set active false will disable it. It still actually exists in the scene. Um, it's not permanently destroyed, but it's no longer visible, no longer there to interact with. Okay, so let's save that. And we'll go back to Unity and test this out. And I'll just make sure the console's open there so that when I run the game, I can see the score uh, value displayed down there. Okay, so I'm just going to move through this scene and I've just uh, hit the first crystal there. So you can see the score has increased to one there in the console. Now, if I go down here and hit the second one, the score goes up to two and um, also those two objects disappeared. Now, if I go along here, collect the third one, score goes up to three. And what I'm going to do is uh, get to that other scene, level two. So I'll teleport to level two. And now I'll try to collect a gem here. And it notice that the uh, or crystal, sorry. Notice that the crystal doesn't disappear when the box hits it because we're only, this script is attached to the player. So it's only detecting when the player collides with the crystal. Um, now the score was three. Now what happens when I collect this crystal is the score goes back to one. So the score hasn't been retained from uh, when it moved from level one to level two, it's reset. And um, so what we can do to fix that there's a method that I'll show you. I'm going to create another script and this script is going to, uh, it's not going to be attached to anything. So it's not going to be attached to the player that's um, you know, going to sort of reload when, it, when we go to a new scene or level. This is just going to be a script that's going to uh, exist in the assets here and it's going to be responsible for, score, uh, for storing the score. And what we can do is update the, the score in a variable in that script and then just um, increase it um, from the player controller script. So I'll go back to the player controller script first. And we're not actually going to need this variable here anymore. We won't need the score variable. So I'll delete that. And down here where we increased that score variable and logged it to the console, I'll just remove that for now and save that script. I'll go back to Unity and back to Assets and then into the Scripts folder. And I'm going to create a brand new script. So right click here, Create C Sharp Script. And this one is going to be called Scoring. Okay, as I said before, I'm not going to attach this script to any, any object in the scene. It's just going to exist in my Assets, um, uh, which it, and, it, and that means it can be used in any scene in the game. Okay, so open that script up. And what I'm going to do now is create a static variable in this script. And I won't need to use the start or update method. So I'm going to delete those altogether. And so all we have is public class scoring. And within that class, I'll create a static variable, public static variable. 
it's an integer again, and I'll call this total score. And I don't actually need to initialize it with a variable, uh, with a value. So I don't need to say equals zero, anything like that. It's a public variable, public static variable. It's of type integer and it's called total score. I'll save that script. I'm gonna go back to the player controller script that's attached to the player object. Now, if I wanted to, I could have a score variable in here that would be for each scene. So we could collect, we could display, for example, the points that are being acquired in one scene and then add that to a total. Um, but all I'm gonna do is, is have this total score variable, uh, which I'm going to refer to in the player controller script. So in the player controller script, in order to refer to the scoring script or scoring class, I'll say scoring dot, and then to refer to the total score variable that's in that scoring class, I'll say total score. And then I'm gonna increase that by one. And then we can um, log that to the console. Okay, so what's essentially happening here is instead of having a score variable within the player controller script that's updated and is then being kind of reset every time we move from one scene to the next, what we're doing instead is having a public static variable uh, in a separate script called scoring, it has a class called scoring. And so no matter which scene we're in, um, the score will be updated here and to update that score, we can refer to that script or class called scoring and then the total score variable there. And then we can increase it by one or however many points we wanna increase the score by. And then to display it in the console, again, we just refer to scoring.totalScore. And in the next video, I'll show how to then display that in the UI um, uh, as text on the screen. But for now, let's just save that, go back to Unity and uh, as I mentioned, I don't need to attach that scoring script to any object. I can just run the game, make sure the console's open. And this time when I collect points and add to the score uh, and get to the second level, that uh, score should still stay the same. All right, so I've got one point, get another point here. I haven't actually set up the code for the ladder yet, so I can't actually get up to that platform that way. So just have to go through here. All right, my score is three now. Teleport through to the next level and I'll collect this crystal up here. And the score has just increased to four. So the score no longer resets, it just go uh, increases by one and so now the score is four. So that's it, that's how to set up scoring in a 2D platformer game and also how to retain uh, the score, keep the score between different scenes in the game. And in the next video, I'll start to look at how to set up a UI and display that score on the screen in the game. That's it for this video though, thank you for watching.